All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to show you how you can easily convert your various video files and other stuff from one format to another using Handbrake. If you're not familiar with Handbrake, it's a wonderful utility that got its start for free on the internet, uh, helping people to pull and back up their discs, their DVDs, their CDs, all that stuff from a physical medium onto their computer. And now it is also a feature rich video converter, all for the low, low price of free. And so all you gotta do is pick a video. In this case, I've got my folder of all the outputted videos that I've been working on in recent memory. And let's grab, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Let's just grab this one and we'll just plunk it in there. This off to the side. And this is when we were talking about how to sew your own homemade face masks. And from here, you have to decide what settings you would like to convert it to. So it started out as an MP4 video. And what would we like to turn it into? We have a few options here. You can turn it into an MP4, an MKV, a WebM video. A lot of the times the best format to convert things to is actually an MP4. It tends to be the more universal. And then from here we can say, all right, here's the preset. We can go with a general preset. We can go with a web preset. I'm feeling like we want to keep this at a relatively high DPI, or not high DPI, but high quality video. So let's just do a high quality 1080p. And this should give us the option to boost this up to 60 FPS, which I believe is what we recorded that at in the first place. And we can optimize this for the web if we want. And if you hover over these, they'll tell you exactly what the options do. Uh, this is basically encoded so that the data packet, some of it is at the front versus at the, the end. So it's uh, ready for immediate video playback when you upload it to the web. So if you wanted to put this on YouTube, you could totally click this if you wanted to. And then you can make this iPod 5G support if you'd like. And then here's sort of the general mix and match of settings. But I think if we go over to dimensions, I want, it definitely should stay 1920 by 1080. And then we'll leave all this alone. This all looks real good. But what I want to do is I want to go under video and I want to set the frame rate to be 60 frames per second. And if you want to do constant frame rate so the whole thing is forced to stay at 60, you can. It'll take a little bit longer to render because a lot of videos do peak frame rate. If they need a lot of frames, they use them. If not, a lot of stuff is changing. Sometimes the video player will dunk it back to 30 or lower. There's not a lot is going on. I like to leave it at peak frame rate. It's a little bit more efficient and it just tends to be what you, what works best. So let's see. Constant quality, let's go with average bitrate. I tend to prefer this because I'm more familiar with it. Let's set the average bitrate to 25,000 uh, kilobits per second, which is 25 megabits per second. Two pass encoding, yes. What that does is it does one pass and looks at the bright portions of a video and it does a second pass to look at the dark portions to make sure it has the best quality possible. And then optimize video, encoder, slower, that tends to work pretty nice. Encoding level four works, high quality. Yeah, that all looks good. And then audio, for things like YouTube, we tend to like closer to 320. It can handle all the way up to 520 though. So we'll just leave that at 520 and this is 640. That looks good. We don't really have any subtitles, so we don't really have to worry about that. And everything else looks good. So we can decide where we want this. This can just export to my videos. I don't really mind where. And then we can just press start to encode. So this program has actually gotten pretty advanced in recent years. What it also allows you to do is you can actually do batch conversions where you just put a bunch of video files in there, set some rules for either the whole batch or each of them individually. And then you can just 
kick them out to go and process and then go do something else for a while. So this video, how long was this video? If I, this was about 14 minutes and the original was about 1.07 gigs in size. And it looks like this is going to take about 26 minutes to render with all of my settings. So that's not, that's not bad. It's about on par working with 1080p 60 FPS video. And yeah, so that's really the whole process that you need. You can convert darn near anything back into an MP4, an MKV or a WebM. WebM, I should actually take a look at the quality of the WebM when working in this particular medium and see about a different tutorial specifically for that. So until next time, this has been how you use Handbrake to convert your videos. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.